on, um, oh, what does it say? On February, is that, yeah, February 3rd, I posted, <laughs> I posted the, the word hype with a picture of movie seats and a huge screen. I went, I got to see, and then I, next I posted, guess what movie I just watched, February 2nd, I saw Zone of Interest in, you know, in a big AMC theater. It was awesome. Uh, this is, what, this is future Persimmon late at night editing this. Um, I apologize if the picture that I drew could be misinterpreted as, or could be interpreted as way too inappropriate, um, because it's just the background from, uh, Zone of Interest of, like, the, uh, camp, like, right on the other side, and, yeah, I apologize if you take offense to that, because, like, um, there wasn't too many other, I guess the word is, like, notable elements that I could have drawn that people would notice and go, oh, that's that movie. I don't know, I don't mean to be offensive when I have drawn that and show that there. Sorry. And, I don't know, it's probably, I don't know if it's disrespectful to draw this picture. This was kind of the setting, it was kind of weird. Um, but, I'll tell you, I'll tell you something. I had an amazing watching experience with Zone of Interest. I came out of the theater going like, holy shit, this was crazy. Um, it's about no a Nazi family during World War II as they're living like right next to Auschwitz. And it's about, you know, rather than, rather than being about like the terrors that happened to the Jews, it's about the mundanity of their life and in a way humanizing them as just that was what life was like for them. You know, it was extremely normal from their point of view. But I think in my opinion, it was a really great movie, but I think like it was a bit of, I know, don't get mad at me when I say, I think just the fact that the meat, like, you know, the meat of the story is told through the sound effects kind of feels a little bit like a cop-out, in my opinion. It was done, obviously, it was done amazingly. It won, what was it, the Golden Globe or the Emmy for, like, best sound design. It was amazing sound design. But it just feels like, I think it might just be, yeah, you know, to watch a movie from a third-person point of view in such a way that you're, like, not even seeing the movie. It's only what you can, I, I maybe the word is, it's only what you can zone out and imagine is going on is what the movie really is. It's kind of, like, half-made. It's, like, masterfully half-made in the way that the real movie, the audience, is kind of desiring to see is not at all what they're being shown. Kind of. Like, it was a good movie, but it, like, was not, you know, you know? The, it wasn't the movie that the audience was trying to watch. Um, yeah. <laughs> I later... I'll tell you, oh, I'll tell you what happens later. I get to, I, later on, I see more Jonathan Glazer movies, the director of this. Um, well, that's, yeah. <laughs> okay.